In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this puppy ring rattle. You will need blue yarn, white yarn, a rattle insert, safety eyes, a safety nose, and some stuffing material, along with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. For the semi ring, you're going to start with a chain of 15. So you need to make a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up the loop, and then pull both ends. Grab your working yarn, tighten up your loop, then grab your yarn and pull through to make your chain. And you're going to continue to do this until you have a chain of 15. Once you have your chain of 15, you're going to take the end and put the two ends together and you'll need your stitch marker. And for round one, you're going to single crochet into that first chain there. So do your single crochet and now you're just going to continue to single crochet in each of the chains all the way around. And once you get back to your stitch marker, you should have 15 stitches. For rounds two through 18, you're going to continue to just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of round 18, you should still have 15 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 18. I've removed the stitch marker and now we're just going to slip stitch into that next stitch and tie off. And then you'll cut your yarn pull it all the way through and then weave in both the beginning and the end pieces. For the borders, we're going to be single crocheting around both ends of the semi ring. So take your blue yarn and I've already done the first side. And we're just going to attach the yarn and you can do that in any of the stitches. And chain one to secure. And then just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So just continue to do a one single crochet all the way until you get back to where you started. Here I've come back to where I began and to finish we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did and tie off. And when you cut your yarn you want to make sure you're making it long enough for sewing. So just pull that through and so you'll leave the long tails for sewing and weave in the shorter beginning tails. For the main part of the ring, you'll begin with a slip knot and then do a chain of 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For round one, I'm going to place the stitch marker and then take the end here or the beginning of our chain and you'll just do a single crochet into that first stitch and then do one single crochet in each of the chains all the way around. And when you get to the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. 
for rounds two through 46, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 46, you should still have 12 stitches. And you're definitely going to want to add stuffing to this as you're increasing your rows. So as the further along you get, continue to add stuffing until you have finished round 46. Here I've reached the end of round 46. And to finish, I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And then you'll cut your yarn and pull that all the way through. And I've added my stuffing. And you can just kind of shape it a little bit to where it kind of curves. And now we are ready to attach the semi ring to the main part of the ring. And here I've begun to attach my semi ring and the main ring. I've already done this one side. In the semi ring, I've added enough stuffing to where it holds its shape, but leaving enough room to insert the end of the ring. And so you'll just pinch that end and then just get it into the semi ring to where it's a couple of rows hidden inside that semi ring. Thread your yarn needle and then we're going to just follow one of the rows all the way around. So make sure you're following the same row all the way around. So we'll go through a stitch in the ring and then up through a stitch in the semi ring along the border. And now we're gonna go down through the next stitch of the border, pulling tight and then go under a stitch in the ring and back up through a stitch in the border. And you're going to do this all the way around. So moving to the next stitch of the border and then under a stitch in the ring. Come back up through a stitch in the border and then down through the next stitch of the border and under a stitch in the ring. And we'll just keep on going until we get back to where we started. Making sure to continue to follow the same row and up through a stitch in the border and then down through this stitch and then under a stitch in the ring. And I think I've just about come back to where I started. I'm just gonna go under one more and then come back up through a stitch in the ring. Okay, so now that's nice and secure. So now we're just gonna go under a stitch in the border and tie our knot. So don't pull it all the way through because you're gonna take that yarn needle and go through that loop and then pull tight. And just to make sure it's extra secure, I like to do two knots. So I'm gonna do that one more time and then pull nice and tight. And then you just take that yarn needle and run it through some of the stuffing and out. And then you can just clip off the excess yarn and that tail is hidden inside. And there we go. We have finished the ring part of our baby rattle ring.
For the arms, we'll begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop, chain one to secure. And for round one, we'll be doing six single crochet into that magic circle. There's three, four, five, and six. And now you'll grab that tail, and give it a pull, and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we'll be doing one increase in each stitch. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, and do one single crochet. Go back into that same stitch and do a second single crochet. And that is your increase. And you're going to continue to do that all the way around. So one increase into each stitch. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, one increase, and continue to repeat. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of this round, you should still have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round four, and now's a good time to thread your yarn needle and weave in that beginning tail. So turn your work over, pull the yarn tight, and just run that needle through a couple of stitches, and then you'll snip off the excess. Round five, we're going to do some decreasing. So your repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one decrease. And to do the decrease, you'll go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up a loop, grab the yarn and pull through all three of those loops. And so you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one decrease. and keep repeating one single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For rounds six through nine, we're going to just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of round nine, you should still have 12 stitches. For round 10, we're going to begin with one decrease. And then you're just going to single crochet in the remaining stitches. So just continue to single crochet in each stitch for the remainder of the round. And when you reach the end of this round, you should end up with 11 stitches. For round 11, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 11 stitches. For round 12, we'll begin with one decrease. And then you'll just do one single crochet in each stitch for the remainder of the round. So just continue to do one stitch or one single crochet in each stitch. 
even when you come to the end of this round, you should have 10 stitches. For round 13, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 10 stitches. Before moving on to round 13, make sure you add your stuffing to the arm. And I've removed the stitch marker and now we're going to take the top here and fold it flat. And then you'll just take your crochet hook and going through the stitches on both sides. So all the way through, you're just going to single crochet. And then you're going to continue to do that all the way across. So single crochet, making sure you're going through the stitches on both sides. And then when you get to that very last stitch, you'll do a slip stitch and tie off. And make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing. And then just pull that through. And so you'll make two of these for the arms. To attach the arms, we're going to have this part down at the bottom of the ring and put the arms up here towards the top. And we're going to, I've already attached one, and so we're going to place them so that way there are six rows in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So right about here, and then you'll just take your needle through under a stitch in the ring and then through a stitch in the arm, under a stitch in the ring, through a stitch in the arm, and you'll do this all the way across, under a stitch in the ring, through a stitch in the arm, under a stitch in the ring, and through the stitch in the arm. And then to finish it off, we're going to go under one more stitch in the ring, pull nice and tight, and I'm going back under that same stitch. And before pulling the yarn all the way through, you'll take your yarn needle through the loop and then pull to tighten up the knot. And then just take that yarn needle and poke it through the ring. And then you'll snip off the excess yarn and that hides the tail and now the arms have been attached. For round one, we'll start with a magic circle. So take that yarn, wrap it around your fingers, reach through, bring up your loop and then chain one to secure. And then for round one, we'll start with six single crochet into that magic circle. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to grab that tail and pull and that closes up the hole and you place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we'll do one increase in each stitch. So go into that first stitch, bring up your loop and do one single crochet. Go back into that same stitch and do another single crochet. And that is your increase. And you're going to do that all the way around. So one increase in each stitch. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet, 
followed by one increase. Continue to repeat, and at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet, followed by one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat that all the way around, repeating two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be three single crochet, followed by one increase. And so you're going to continue to repeat three single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. For round six, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet, one, two, three, four, followed by one increase. And continue to repeat four single crochet and one increase all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 36 stitches. For round seven, our repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, three, four, five, increase. And so continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase. And once you come to the end of the round, you should have 42 stitches. For round eight, our repeating sequence will be six single crochet followed by one increase. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat this all the way around. Repeat six single crochet and one increase. And when you come to the end of this round, you should have 48 stitches. Before you move on, take a moment to turn your work over and weave in that beginning tail. And then you can cut off any excess yarn. And for rounds nine through 16, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 16, you should still have 48 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round 16 and it's starting to take its shape. When you're crocheting, you want it folded to where it looks like a bowl, and you'll hold it like that. And before we move on, it's time to attach the safety eyes. So I've already got one in place, and so you're going to count down 10 rows and place the safety eye between rows 10 and 11 with about seven stitches in between the eyes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll move to the next one. So seven stitches between the eyes. So you'll insert the post into that stitch and then take your backing, place it on the post. And then this is just a stylus that I took the tip out of and it works perfectly for popping the backing onto the safety eye. So just push down until it's on there and you can see that it's on there and because of these ridges here, it'll keep it from popping back out. And there we go, we've attached the safety eyes and we're ready to continue. For round 17, we're going to start doing some decreases. And so your repeating sequence will be six single crochet 
followed by one decrease. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and now decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up your loop, grab your yarn and pull through all three loops and that is your decrease. And so you'll continue to repeat six single crochet and one decrease until you reach the end of the round, at which point you should have 42 stitches. For round 18, our repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one decrease. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll do our one decrease. And then we'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one decrease until you get to the end of the round. And you should end up with 36 stitches. For round 19, your repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, and one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. So repeat four single crochet and one decrease until you reach the end of the round and you should end up with 30 stitches. For round 20, a repeating sequence will be three single crochet. There's two, three, followed by one decrease. And now you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease until the end of the round, at which point you should have 24 stitches. For round 21, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one decrease. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. So repeat two single crochet and one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. Before moving on, now's a good time to start stuffing. And then we're going to also insert the rattle insert. So when you put your stuffing in there, make a little pocket inside and you can just slide that rattle insert right in there and you're ready to continue. For round 22, our repeating sequence is going to be one single crochet followed by one decrease. And you're just going to continue to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet followed by one decrease. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round 23, we're just going to decrease all the way around. And so you'll just keep on decreasing until you get to the end of this round. Round 24, I've removed my stitch marker and we're just going to decrease until we've got this hole closed. And so just continue to decrease. So I just did two decreases and now I'm going to take my hook through the next stitch and go across to the other side and just do a slip stitch and then I'll do the same thing with the next stitch 
go straight across, do a slip stitch, and then tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail to sew the head onto the ring. For the muzzle, you'll use the white yarn and begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop, chain one to secure. And now we'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, six. Grab that tail and give it a pull. And now you'll place your stitch marker and at this point you have six stitches. For round two, we'll be doing one increase in each stitch. So go into that first stitch, do one single crochet, go back into the same stitch and do a second single crochet. And that is your increase. And we're going to continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches. For round three, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of a one single crochet, followed by one increase. And you'll just keep repeating one single crochet and one increase. And once you come to the end of the round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. There's one, two, and then one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase all the way to the end of the round. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For rounds five through seven, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you reach the end of round seven, you should still have 24 stitches. Here I've come to the end of round seven. I've removed the stitch marker. And now to finish, you're just going to slip stitch into that next stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing. So you leave this one for sewing and make sure you take a minute to weave in that beginning tail. Now that the muzzle is finished, it's time to add the safety nose. So you'll take the post and I'm going to come up to between rounds three and four and put the post through the stitch and then you just take that backing and put it onto the back of the post and then I'm using my stylus without the tip on it and just push down until it pops into place and you know it's secure once you've gone down there we go once you've gone down past a couple of the ridges and that'll keep it from coming back out and there we go, we have attached the nose. To attach the muzzle, you're gonna thread the yarn needle. I've added some stuffing inside the muzzle. And then we're just gonna place it just below the eyes. And then you'll take your yarn needle, go under a stitch in the head, and then up through a stitch in the muzzle. Under a stitch in the head. And up through a stitch in the muzzle. And you'll continue to do this all the way around. And before you close it up, you can add a little more stuffing if you need to. So just continue to go under a stitch in the head 
and up through a stitch in the muzzle. And here I've come all the way around. And to tie off, we'll just go under one last stitch in the head. And before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle, go through that loop and give it a pull. And that ties your knot. Now you just take that yarn needle, poke it through the head, and then you snip off the excess yarn. And then the tail is hidden inside the head. Now we're ready to give him a little half smile. To add the mouth, we're going to cut a piece of blue yarn, put a slip knot on one end, and then the other end we will thread the yarn needle And now we're just going to take the yarn and follow one of the lines of the round and do a little half smile. When you get to that slip knot, you'll put your needle through the loop, tighten it up, and then pull your yarn through. And then we'll weave in this tail after we're done. So now we're gonna go back down through the stitch that we just came out of, and then come out of the next stitch. And before you pull it all the way tight, take your needle through the loop and then pull. And then we'll do that again. So just go back through the hole you just came out of Go to the next stitch, take your needle through that loop, and then pull. And I'm gonna go one more. So through the stitch I already went through, out through the next one, and go through the loop and pull. And that gives him his little half smile there. And so now I'm just going to go under the stitch that I already did and tie a knot. So go through the loop and then pull tight. Tighten that knot down. And then you'll just take your needle and poke it through. And then you take that beginning tail and poke that through. And then you just snip off the excess yarn and the tails will be hidden inside the head. And there we go, we've given him a little smile. For the ears, we'll be using the blue yarn and begin with a magic circle. And you'll chain one to secure and then do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's three, four, five, and six. Now you'll grab that tail and pull and then place your stitch marker and at this point you'll have six stitches for round two we'll be doing one increase in each stitch so go into that first stitch do a single crochet go back into the same stitch and do another single crochet and that is your increase and so you're going to continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 12 stitches.
For round three, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet, followed by one increase. And so you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, one increase, and continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 18 stitches. For round four, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 18 stitches. For round five, you're going to be doing a repeating sequence of five single crochet followed by one increase. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and one increase. So continue to repeat five single crochet and one increase until you reach the end of the round, at which point you should have 21 stitches. Before you begin round six, now is a good time to weave in that beginning tail. So turn your work inside out, thread your yarn needle, and just run that through a couple of stitches. And then you can snip off the excess. And now we're ready to begin round six. And for round six, you'll just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 21 stitches. For round seven, your repeating sequence will be five single crochet followed by one decrease. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and now you'll do one decrease. And so you'll continue to repeat five single crochet and one decrease all the way to the end of the round. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round eight, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 18 stitches. For round nine, our repeating sequence will be four single crochet followed by one decrease. There's one, two, three, four, and decrease. And so you'll just continue to repeat four single crochet and one decrease all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should end up with 15 stitches. For rounds 10 and 11, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of round 11, you should still have 15 stitches. For round 12, your repeating sequence will be three single crochet followed by one decrease. Here's one, two, three, decrease. And so you'll continue to repeat three single crochet and one decrease all the way to the end of the round and you should end up with 12 stitches. For rounds 13 and 14, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. 
And once you've reached the end of round 14, you should still have 12 stitches. And here I've finished round 14. We do not stuff the ear. I've removed the stitch marker and for round 15, we're going to fold it flat and single crochet through the stitches on both sides. So insert your hook and go all the way through. So that way you're going through the stitches on both sides and single crochet. And you'll continue to do this all the way across. And then when you get to that last stitch, you'll just do one slip stitch and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing. And there we go, one ear is done. And so you need to make two of these. To attach the ears, you'll thread your yarn needle. And I've already got one of the ears attached and I'm lining it up so it's even with the center and out two rows from the center. And so I'll do the same thing with this one. And so I'll just come out a couple rows from the center and I'm going to follow that line of stitches. So we'll go under a stitch in the head and then through a stitch in the ear. And under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear. Move to the next one. So under a stitch in the head, through a stitch in the ear. And you'll keep going until you've reached the end of the ear. And then to tie off, we'll go under the next stitch And then go back under that same stitch and before pulling it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull it tight to make your knot. And then you just take that yarn needle and poke it through the head and snip off the excess yarn. And there we go, we have attached the ears. To attach the head to the ring, we're going to line the center of the bottom of the head up with this center between the arms. So you'll just hold that in place. Take your yarn needle. You're going to go through the ring all the way to the other side. Pull tight. And then we'll go under a stitch in the head. Pull nice and tight. And now we're going to go back through the ring. So go into a stitch in the ring. Come out through the back of the ring. Pull that nice and tight. I'm going to go under a stitch in the head. And you'll just continue to do that. So going through the ring, back out through the front, and then under a stitch in the head. And then through the ring. And you'll continue to do this until you feel that you have gotten the head on securely. So I'm gonna go just a couple more times, just to make sure that I've got this nice and secure. I'm gonna 
to go through one more time, I think. That feels pretty secure. So I'm going to go through one last time and come out the back. And then just take the yarn needle under a stitch in the ring. And before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop, pull nice and tight. And I'm going to actually do two knots just to make sure that this stays nice and secure. And then we'll just take that yarn needle and poke it through the ring. Cut off the excess yarn that hides the tail. And there we go. We have attached the head to the ring and our ring rattle is finished.